Yeah. Attention everybody, I'm about to make a movie. I'm about to gather up all of these hoes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, AJRL Jones with an X on the end. So today's video is gonna be cute and quick. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm gonna show you some quick facial feminization tips using only makeup and a little bit at that. I've already used a very light moisturizer that has SPF 30 in it, so I should be good on the moisturized part. So I'm just gonna use this to prime my skin. So I'm actually going to use this color here to just, I find that sometimes using a really pigmented shadow can get the job done instead of layering on creams on top of creams on top of creams. Again, this is the fast, quick, and in a hurry. Just a little bit more mustache here. Under that eye. Also, this trick, will not move all day. You will not start to see a five o'clock shadow come through your makeup halfway throughout your day. You will be set in stone. So I'm gonna take this uh, multitasking spray again. I'm just gonna set what I just put on because it's a powder. All right, so now that we've color corrected, so I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance Liquid Foundation. I use it all the time and I travel with it so you like can't see what it says, but it's Black Radiance, girl. So I have my foundation on my hand and I'm also gonna spray my brush with the setting spray. That's a quick tip to help you set your makeup while you're doing it. I promise it will save you time in the end. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna start getting that foundation on. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. Now I'm avoiding my under eye area for now because I want to brighten that up. So I have found that not putting too much foundation right under my eye makes that process way quicker and cleaner. So you wanna make sure that you get under here as well with your color corrector and your foundation so that you don't have um, a mismatched chin. Little bit on the nose and kind of bring it into the cheek area but not too high up. Don't forget your ear, girl. Some y'all girls be forgetting y'all ears so and not be good. Next, I'm just gonna go in with my NYX highlighter. right in that area. So these are the areas that I like to focus my highlight on. First, I like to highlight. I don't highlight and contour at the same time because I don't really like to get those areas to blend it. We want our highlight to stand out. We want our contour to fade in. And I'm gonna do all of the areas that I just highlighted. I'm just gonna buff that right on out. Now this part is very, very, very important. I like to keep the concealer where I put it. I don't wanna bring it down. I just wanna blend here and up, here and up. I want it to snatch my mug back. So, we'll go ahead and start right on the inside. I like to still pat, cause it keeps the highlighter right where you put it. Up, you see I'm bringing it up. I'm not bringing it down, I'm bringing it up. Cause we want the focus of our face to be as small as we can get it. I bring it into the inside of my nose. A little in the mustache area, not too much because I don't want to highlight that area because normally if you want your face to look more feminine, you want the area between your lip and nose to appear to be smaller. I'm giving away my tips and tricks, bitches. Ooh. All right. And now I'm gonna blend all of those hard edges. So I'm gonna start on the forehead. I like to also start where you have the least uh, product. So if you don't have that much product on your forehead, start there. That way you're not dragging around excess product around your face. Okay. So now that we've done our foundation and highlighter, I'm gonna go through and do a little bit of contouring. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to stand out. I want it to just blend into the mug and just feminize the features that are already there. I'm gonna start off with the forehead. I am going to just lightly dab there. I want to contour, I want to delete this area. I want to break it down. This is the breakdown. <laughs> I'm going to just do a little there. A little there. Bring that in a little bit more. And then we want to get the chin area. And the jawbone. Alrighty, and then we're going to just 
a little. Mm -mm. That's fine, we'll fix that. And again, I just wanna keep everything right where I put it. I'm gonna bring this up into the brow bone. We got a skinny nose today, but she works. It's a working girl. And I'm just gonna, again, pat and just try to keep that contour in the area that I put it in, but just blend it so it's not just a dot on my forehead. And don't worry, we're gonna go back in with our sponge. You see how that forehead is just falling to the background. Also going to take this and I'm gonna pat it. I'm gonna go like that patting motion. But I'm gonna blend it up. Everything is always up. You snatch the mug up. Bring this up, because we want to make the chin to appear smaller. I'm just gonna follow my jawline, connect those two lines. And I'm also going to take it from the actual jawbone and drag it right down the neck like that. Okay, this is gonna slim the neck from the front. It's gonna make your neck appear to be slimmer than it actually is. So now I'm just gonna take that foundation brush and I'm gonna kinda go around and over all of those areas that we just contoured. Sorry about the lighting change, daylight is a bitch. So now that I've used all of my cream products, you can see that the face is pretty much matte. I really don't have a dewy finish, it's just regular. You could hit the streets like this if you're not gonna be out too long. I wouldn't really recommend it. I would recommend at least setting your face with a little powder, not too much so that you're like baking for hours. Just a little powder just to get you through the day so that your makeup doesn't move. You want it, You still want your skin to look fresh. That's the trick. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lower mercy air and just hit under the eye. See how she... I swear this man only builds shit when I'm recording. And it's been happening since the beginning of the quarantine. What are you doing, building a new house? Set the face so beautifully. Also gonna set this area as well. Bring it on down the bridge of my nose. Dust that chin. Gonna go in with my handy dandy full face powder. Very neutral to my skin tone. And just lightly set my entire face. I'm gonna set everywhere that we put the makeup. Clearly I use a lot of NYX, but I'm gonna go in with this blush to warm up the cheeks and kind of set that contour in, but not too harshly. You wanna do it very light. Bring some of that warmth back into the face. Now a trick to make your cheeks look higher is literally bring your blush in. You wanna make it look like you are blushing from the inside out, girl. You want to put a little blush everywhere that you've contoured because it's what's going to make your face just look so warm and blended. Here he goes again, building shit. How much shit could you build in a day? So now I'm just going to go in with some highlighter from Black Radiance. And I'm just going to tap that on in right here just to give myself a very natural glow. Also gonna bring that in almost literally to the nose. We just wanna bring this whole cheek area up. Dab a little bit here. And the reason I'm not using a brush is cause I don't want to, I wanna be able to control, like literally control and I wanna press it in. I want it to blend. I don't want it to sit on my face like highlighter. I want it to highlight where I sit, bitch, yes. Now I'm just gonna go in and I'm just going to really brush my brows up. I have pretty thick brows already, so for like a look this natural, I'm not going to make them too clean because I don't want anything to look too harsh. So I'm just gonna go and just fill in. I'm just gonna give myself a little arch here. Drag her on down, fill her on in, blend that brow. But I'm not doing any eyeshadow, nothing like that. So I'm gonna come right back to you when I've done my lash and liner. Alrighty, so I have my lashes and my liner on. So I'm just gonna do a little smoke under my eye just to soften that liner, just to give us some more depth in there. I think that's all we need. 
Let me get the tips of these. Try to group them together as much as I can. So my final step is going to be to do the lips. So I'm just gonna take this dark um, lipstick from Sephora. I don't know, I don't know. And I'm just gonna put it on like I normally would do lipstick. It's not a liner, so you don't have to be as careful. I like to over draw just a little. My lips are already pretty big. Now I'm gonna go in with a nude lipstick on the inside just to give it that fuller effect and like that ombre effect. And got a little bright on that bottom lip. I wanna keep the lip really pouty. A little clear gloss on top. Kinda see the lip better. Now I'm gonna take this same mist. And we are done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're mugged. We're done. We look dewy. We look glowy. This is exactly how I like my makeup to look when I'm doing something more feminine or just like my regular makeup. This is how I turn into the girl. And there we have it. That's the facial femme using makeup. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't a high glam, a super glam look. This isn't a nighttime glam look. Like this is like your daytime. I'm ready to hit the streets. I want my face to look femme and that's just how I'm feeling. So that's my go-to femme makeup tutorial. I hope you all like it. And let me know what else you would like to see me do. I do hair, I do makeup, I do the motherfucking things. What's good, girl? What's up? <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. If you want more videos like this, or more videos of me talking, or more videos of me doing things, tell me down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it, bitch. It's free.